Hello and welcome to my gaming channel. My name is Chicken Plays. Chicken Plays here, Pokemon Masters and other games. And in this video, I'm going to be going through the most recent letter. This is a message from the Pokemon Masters team, volume 11. And so while this video should have been one of the first things I posted for the most recent up to date, I got really excited for the Legendary Arena, which most of you have already known or some of you probably are just finding out now. And of course, the new Sync Pair, Cygnus Suit Grimsley, as well in the banner with him, Cygnus Suit Elisa. And so I'm going to be going through my thoughts and feedback with regards to the letter right now. So here we go, this is a message from the Pokemon Masters team. So this letter just dropped with among the other updates as you can see below, June 11th, 2020 at 2 a.m. EST where I'm from. And so with all the feedback that you trainers have given and maybe some of those who have just got into the game and want to see improvements, you've been heard, you've been listened to, and there have also been a lot of discussions within the recent Discord. If you want to be part of the Pokemon Masters Discord, it's going to be in my description, so go check that out. And if you'd like to see more of my content and, and follow me on social media, it's right on the screen to your right. Uh, and so go ahead and find those there. So this is the message. Greetings trainers, we're the producers of Pokemon Masters, again I might mispronounce this, my apologies, you Sasaki and Tetsuya Iguchi, here with a new message for you. Today we'll discuss how we're expanding the game's content as we approach our first anniversary. It's really close everyone. I just remembered launching Pokemon Masters and with the, the fact that it was uh, free to play and all these different sync pairs and these different uh, trainers with their Pokemon got me uh, to love it and it's Pokemon and to see the strategy and the thoughts behind it all of that I'm just starting to reminisce, reminisce but I can leave that for another uh, time so as we uh, first approach our the anniversary and we're celebrating this exciting milestone with fans we'll also tell you about our plans to make sync pairs even more exciting as well as how we're improving existing features. We would like to thank all of you for sharing feedback on the new features mentioned in our last message, including responses to the survey made available in May. So, like I said, your voices are being heard, and you know, just, uh, I guess a disclaimer, right before I go into any of this, everyone will have their thoughts and opinions about going forward with the upcoming updates and events that I'm going to say through this letter. So please keep in mind that all of this is going to be my uh, thoughts and opinions and what I think is going to be positively great especially for those who want to challenge and for maybe some casual players who would like to see some improvements and when going back into the game etc. Alright, discussion topics. In this message uh, we'll discuss the following. New content, updates to make sync pairs more exciting, our approach to improving existing features. So those are the three main bullet points. New content and updates to make sync pairs more exciting. So the first thing, streamlining sync pair training. We're currently developing new ways to strengthen sync pairs. We plan to release these around the first anniversary of the game. It's coming soon guys. So we hope we, you are looking forward to it. Here's the second Pokeball bullet. Cygnus suits and seasonal sync pairs. I know, I, I, I check that. We'd love to see new Cygnus suits and seasonal sync pairs. And the most recent up to date one is definitely the Cygnus suit Elisa coming back and the new Cygnus suit Grimsley and Sharpedo. One of fans' most frequent requests is to see more new sync pairs as well as existing sync pairs in both Cygnus suit and special seasonal outfits. Many synchros that haven't debuted yet are on their way. Exciting. And we're working to ensure that sync pairs in Cygnus suits and seasonal outfits will appear more frequently, frequently than before. So the most seasonal up to, uh, date for Pokemon Masters was during the Christmas season uh, around December where we had Christmas Seabold and Christmas Rosa. Alright, so those two were limited to that season and it looks like we may be getting those back again. Who knows, but to see more seasonal sync pairs would be great. And um, hopefully we get to see more, this is again my feedback, more supports. Because as I'm playing the most recent Legendary Arena, maybe some of you might agree to this or not, we don't have as much supports as we uh, expect compared to 
like strikers and techs. So um, I think we have like 22. I might be off 22 supports, but um, hopefully we get to see more support in the future as as a way of pulling from you know the sync pair scout. All right, here's something uh, also new: battling champions. All right. So, as previously discussed, we are introducing a new battle feature that will allow players to face off against Elite Four members and champions. With this feature, we're hoping to recreate the same challenging thrills that trainers experience when battling in Pokemon League, in the Pokemon League, in Pokemon RPGs. It would be so cool to revisit those battles again. You can enter these battles with multiple sync pairs, but winning will require a strategy that is different from the approach used in other battles. More details will come in a future message. So my thoughts are, if we're going to be battling, um, let's say, uh, let's say, let's say Bruno, right? Bruno brings out Hitmonchan, right? I feel like it's gonna be, um, that Hitmonchan is gonna be out first, and if we're gonna have to be bringing multiple sync pairs, this is my thought, if we're bringing multiple sync pairs, that Hitmonchan is the only one you're going to focus on. And then once you beat that Hitmonchan, the next Pokemon is going to come out. I'm just going to say Hitmonlee or Machoke, right? So let's just say each of these sync pairs, uh, so starting with Bruno, Bruno will have Pokemon. It looks like there's like a water symbol if you look closely. So maybe he'll have also like a fire type Pokemon that's uh, that will throw us off um, and something fresh that... You need to make sure you beat, uh, and to, once you beat that, you go to the next Pokemon. So that's my thought about it. So let's see if my, that prediction comes true. Egg events. This is a big one. Events based on Pokemon eggs are coming soon, in July. Each Pokemon you can get from these events will be different, as each one's role and the number of passive skills it has will be random. So, whoa! That's actually cool because not all eggs or Pokemon eggs will be the same. There will also be a very rare chance that a shiny Pokemon will hatch. So we encourage all trainers to try to find their favorite Pokemon. Ooh. In addition to developing these features, we're also working on expanding existing content and preparing new events. There is a new legendary event coming too, so we hope you're looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but this is exciting. If you're watching this, oh my goodness, and listening to me, we are getting Shinies for the first time released as Pokemon eggs. And so, with that being said, if you're like me and enjoy those uh, mainstream of trying to hatch eggs, or maybe you're one of those people who love to encounter Shiny out of nowhere, this is your chance. This is your chance to uh, hatch the first shiny and I'm probably gonna be doing a shiny hunt uh, with within one of my streams so uh, you can go check that out in the future but that's gonna be something cool for an event in July and to know that there's a new legendary event coming soon definitely prepare for that because you know with all these events we we're seeing so many things that's coming uh, ever since this launch <clears throat> here we go our approach to improving existing features so features that are already in the game in May survey, we collected feedback about our three planned improvements to existing features. Reduced time spent battling for items, easier identification of battles that reward items, a change to the number of playable battles per day. Survey responses indicate that many players want to obtain items more efficiently, even if the number of battle attempts is limited. Based on this feedback, we will be launching a new stamina system. All right, don't don't go throwing those dislikes. Don't be throwing like anything tomatoes at me and stuff. But I'm just reading what it says on a trial basis to solicit additional player input. That will help us create the best best possible experience. Of course, there may be a survey again, uh, just to uh, you know, once you get into that trial stamina system, you're going to check it out and see how it plays within the game. And this is. Uh, also, in, again, my thoughts, this is helpful because you can now, with knowing, even if there is a stamina system, you can still earn sufficient and legit items that will be helpful in, let's say, a difficulty that's very hard. You will get the items that you need, right, with use, uh, with this, this system. Now, we have yet to see what it looks like, but let's see uh, what it says here. 
the Poke Bullet says where stamina is applicable. Okay. Stamina will be consumed each time you battle in the following areas. It's not too uh, unfamiliar for those who are veterans to other gacha games. So I've, I used to play Puzzles and Dragons and uh, I've, I'm used to the stamina system. But if you're not used to the stamina system, uh, well, this might be something that you're going to have to adjust to and see in the trial. And consume stamina will recover over time. So the main story, single player only, will most likely have it. The level up area, the cap unlock area, sync orb area, evolution material area, some events. No new limits will be imposed on the legendary arena, the battle villa, co-op battles in general, EX challenge, battle villa, or main story. So they won't be on top of that room. Those uh, particular uh, arenas and battles for a stamina. So you don't have to worry about that. Or certain other event battles. You can continue to play those as much as you want. So it's not everything, okay? It's not every single particular stage will have a stamina. So that's a plus, alright? Because this new system will impact game balance, we're launching it on a trial basis, during which we'll be listening to your feedback and making improvements along the way, even reverting back to the current system if needed. Regardless, we're working hard to ensure the final result is enjoyable for all. Uh, our players and we look forward to hearing from you. Now, uh, the Poke Bullet reduce time spent battling for items and easier identification of battle that reward items. Thank goodness. This is big. Especially identifying the battle that rewards items. So I've been a veteran of the game for uh, since since launch. And I'm going to be honest, and I've shared this with um, some of you and many of those who heard my feedback, it has been difficult. I had to create some videos uh, uh, when we had updates of finding where to farm or collect sync orbs. And level up manuals right now in the training area are um, like scattered, uh, so maybe a new UI or layout might be helpful for new players and for those who even have been playing for a while because I think for some of us we have to always click and find that right tab for us and to know that we'll have individual areas of getting those items will be uh, crucial and helpful even evolution material areas that's gonna be really nice to know so we'll explain these new areas using the sync orb area as an example after completing a battle in the sync orb area you'll obtain co-op sync orbs based on the battles difficulty there will be a maximum of 10 attempts available per day in the sync orb area. Okay, so that's what's going to be happening for that. Up to 90 items will be obtainable with each attempt, making it possible to acquire up to 900 co-op sync orbs each day. Whoa, that's awesome. That is a plus, plus, plus. As this feature is currently in development, certain details may change prior to launch, of course, so stay tuned to future updates. You may recall, that we previously announced that there will be a new way to obtain sync orbs for specific sync pairs. However, we decided to only make co-op sync orbs obtainable from the sync orb area to let you choose which sync pairs to power up. You will still be able to obtain co-op sync orbs from various events in other areas as well. So that's good. Nothing's being changed with that. So what to expect in the next message? In the next message, which is scheduled for late July, we'll go over our plans for future updates and then anniversary celebration in more detail. Thank you, producer. You, Sasaki, and uh, producer Tetsuya Iguchi for this uh, beautifully well-written message. Now, uh, so, trainers, I want you to also share your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this update? What do you think uh, excites you the most? Or what is the most exciting thing that you'd like to see when it comes to these updates and features and new things that's going to be changing? What are some of the things that you may dislike? So. Be sure to share those in the comment section below. I'll be sure to read as much as possible. And so, um, with that being said, trainers, I'm excited for the most part. The egg feature, the legendary arena, uh, the legendary event coming soon, uh, seasonal and signature suit sync pairs, uh, new ways to uh, identify where things are, and tons more. And um, guys, I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, once again and enjoyed uh, me reading through this letter, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more Pokemon Masters content. With that being said, trainers, I will see you on the battlefield. Bye-bye.